Hey everybody, this is Steve Conley, and this will be a lesson on 7.4, uh, part 2, solving systems of equations uh, using multiplication. So let's go ahead and begin. So solve the linear system using the elimination method. Okay, here's number one. Uh, so, okay, now right here I can make um, uh, these both 6x's or these both 10y's. I think I'm going to multiply this by negative 2 so I get a negative 10y. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 2, this by negative 2, and that by negative 2. And that will take me over there. Okay, and then I'm just going to slide this guy right over right there. And what happens is the, the 10y and negative 10y will cancel when I add those equations together. All right, so I'm left with uh, negative 1x equals, uh, careful you guys, negative 6 plus a negative 3, because I'm adding them over here. This is an addition sign. gets me negative 9, so x equals positive 9. Okay, I like to uh, pick the smallest uh, numbers over here, so I can plug in x into any one of these two, or even the red guy over here. I'm going to choose to put it in right there, because it's nice and small numbers in that equation. So there we go, 2 times 9 is 18. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides, and 3 minus 18 is negative 15, so you get y equals negative 3. Remember, x comes first, so it's 9 comma negative 3. All right, let's try another one. Okay, here, um, here I have to change both equations, you guys. My common multiple, I can change these both to 12x, so positive 12x and a negative 12x, or change these both to 10y's. And I think I chose the 12x's because this one was already negative, and I don't like having to multiply through a negative because I tend to lose the negatives, you know, and you guys do too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the 12x's. I'm going to multiply this equation by 3, so times 3 will get me 12x, and then so then times 3 is 15y, then times 3 is uh, 105. Multiply this one times um, uh, neg or times 4, positive 4, because it will give me a negative 12x then, and this is going to be 8y, and then this times 4 is is negative 36, so here we go, times 3, and slide that guy over with times 4. Then I can add the blue equation with the red equation right now, because the 12 and the negative 12 x's will cancel each other out. Alright, so I get uh, 8 to 15 plus 8 is 23, and then 105 uh, minus 36 is 69, and 23 times 3 gives me 69, so y equals uh, 3. So you can plug in y equals 3 anywhere, I like the smallest one, so I'm going to plug it right there. So y equals 3 right there, going to be plugged in, 2 times 3 is 6, and then I'm going to subtract 6. Again, be careful you guys, negative 9 minus 6 is negative 15. So negative 3x equals negative 15, so x must be 5, okay? Remember, x always comes first. Okay, here's another one. Okay, here I can make these both 28x's, or both these guys 6y's. I like smaller numbers, so I'm going to make these guys 6y's. I'm going to multiply, I think I multiplied this equation by 3, so this times 3 is 6y, this times 3 is 21x, and 13 times 3 is 39, and I think I multiplied this equation times um, uh, negative 2. Okay, so here we go, um, uh, times 3, uh, 21x uh, plus 6y equals 39, and then uh, times negative 2. Okay, this times negative 2 gets me negative 8x, this gives me a negative 6y, this gives me a negative 26, so times, and I can add them together, and this uh, red 6y and the blue negative 6y will cancel each other out, okay? So you get 13x equals 13, so uh, x equals 1. All right, plug x into any one of those. I like the smaller ones, or I'll plug it in right there, so 4 times 1 is 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides and get uh, uh, 9, so 3y equals 9, y equals 3. Remember, x always comes first. Okay, here's another one. I didn't do the work on this one. I'm going to let you guys figure this out, you guys. But what I would do is, um, uh, let's see, between the x's, you can make them both 6x and negative 6x, or 45s. And I, man, 45s are getting a little bit too large for me on the numbers. I'm going to choose to, I would do 6s. So I would multiply this equation by 2 to get uh, 6x minus 10y equals 46, and then multiply this one by negative 3, and you get negative 6x minus 27y equals negative 9, and then add them together, go ahead and solve, and you should get uh, 6 comma 1 is your answer. All right, and then uh, for those of you that uh, don't have me in class, this is going to be your assignment right here. Uh, actually, it's my class also. Uh, but this, this is the assignment, so uh, go ahead and pause it right here so you can copy it down, and then the answers will be on the next slide over. So pause it so you have time to copy this down. Okay, and then uh, uh, the answers are right there. Those are all the answers.
and we'll talk to you later.